Welcome to Corium Concepts. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. Hopefully I can leave you some value. In return, you can give me a like, share this video. It's gonna be a great tutorial on how to bridge your Corium to the Corium main net and delegate it to a validator so you can help secure the network and in return, get some rewards for doing so. Currently at around 29% APY. In this demo, I will be bridging using the sologenic.org bridge over to my Cosmo Station wallet. And then I will demonstrate delegating to a validator. Now that the airdrops are over, uh, there's little reason to have your Corium on the XRPL. Bridge it over to mainnet, whether that's for staking, moving it over IBC into Cosmos ecosystem, or in one of the many projects that are soon to be developed on the Corium network. Take a look at a quick video and then we'll get into the demonstration. Ever pondered the current state of blockchain technology and its potential limitations? Picture a technology that is energy efficient, highly scalable and fast. A technology that is not only environmentally friendly, but also boasts a quick block time of 1.75 seconds and low cost predetermined transactions. This is not a mere figment of imagination. It's a reality called Corium. Corium is a bonded proof of stake network that harnesses the power of Cosmos SDKs and is IBC enabled. It's a third generation enterprise grade blockchain that is ISO 222 compliant. It boasts on-chain KYC and AML. It's a technology that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the blockchain world. But what sets Corium apart? It's the unique features it offers. One of these is Smart Tokens, a programmable smart contract with built-in intelligence and automation capabilities. These smart tokens are not your average tokens. They can execute trades, distribute rewards, or enforce certain rules and conditions. This level of intelligence and automation is a game changer in the blockchain industry. And the benefits? Corium brings a plethora of advantages to the table, from minimizing environmental impacts with its proof-of-stake mechanisms to offering a fast, low-cost transaction platform, Corium is reshaping the way we think about blockchain. It's not just about creating a secure, decentralized network. It's about creating a network that is efficient, scalable, and intelligent. But the beauty of Corium doesn't stop at its features and benefits. It's a community, a community that is empowering tomorrow, today, a community that is passionate about blockchain and committed to driving innovation. So why wait? Join the Corium Community DAO. Be a part of this revolutionary journey. Experience the future of blockchain technology today. The future is here, and it's in Corium. Stake with Corium Community DAO. Empower tomorrow, together, today. Okay, first step, you're gonna to want to make your way to sologenic.org. As you can see, sologenic.com is gonna take you to their advanced tokenization solution for institutions. Pretty cool site. The tokenization demo is pretty sweet. I encourage you to check it out. That's not what we're here to do today. Today, we're gonna to go to sologenic.org and go to the bridge. And then once at the bridge, you're going to have two choices. You're going to be able to move your solo from the XRP ledger to the BNB chain or your Corium from XRP ledger to the Corium mainnet. And that's what we're going to do here today. All right. As you can see here, bridge XRP to Corium, enter the amount, going to enter 250 receiving address is that one so you can see the reminders minimum bridge amount is one corium maximum bridge amount 50,000 corium processing time is instant and i have heard that is the case and my last four bridges have been near instant indeed so then you have to acknowledge this and it just says here i understand and accept that well the bridging process is instant. It may take up to 48 hours to complete. I acknowledge that in certain instances, depending on the factors such as network load, bridge balancing, and potential technical issues, the transaction processing time may exceed standard duration. While Sologenic will strive to expedite the bridging process, I recognize there could be possible delays. 
in the event I do not receive my tokens within this stipulated time frame as indicated in this disclaimer I understand that I have the option to open a support ticket for further assistance from the team furthermore token amount received is incorrect if lower than expected I'm aware that I can open a support ticket for resolution conversely should be the amount higher than expected I commit to returning the excess tokens back to the bridge and then you would confirm that okay transaction has been sent to my device I didn't receive the uh, notification, so your option is to click on that and you can scan it with your device as such. Bridging core. When you go to bridge it, you get a warning. It says the destination account is black hold, meaning all funds sent to the destination account will be inaccessible and unrecoverable. Are you sure you want to continue sending your funds to this destination account? And you're going to press yes, I am sure. And what that is, is your Corium tokens on the XRPL are getting burnt. That's why they're not recoverable. And they are going to be converted to Corium mainnet tokens. So that's what that explanation is for. So yes, I am sure you're doing that. Sign the transaction. And done. Just that easy. Your core bridging is in process, bridging 250 core from the XRPL to Corium. Save the transaction hash down below for further support or clarification. So you can save that just by clicking on that. All done. I'm waiting to receive my bridge tokens from sologenic.org bridge on the XRP ledger. Currently have 10,783 core expecting 250 to be delivered there we go 11,033 core now in what took maybe a minute okay so now that you have your Corium mainnet tokens on your Cosmo station wallet you can go to governance as you can see I voted in this proposal but if you had it you can enter your vote there by entering vote I'm going to vote with my new tokens hit next average amount yes confirm done okay that was vote so now we're going to delegate Okay, so now that uh, you're here to delegate, I've chosen Corium Community DAO, and as you can see, I have some delegated already, so I'm going to hit. Okay, so now that I've chosen Corium Community DAO, I just hit the delegate button, and I have 294 core available to delegate, so I'm going to delegate 275. Delegate notice. You can receive staking rewards by delegating to a validator. You may lose a portion of your delegated stake if a problem occurs with the selected node. Please perform careful due diligence before delegating. When you undelegate, there is an unbonding, unbonding period. You will not receive staking rewards during this time. And that's a seven-day period. All right, confirm that. Sign the address. And done successfully delegated my tokens to the core of community DAO. And then the next thing we can do to claim your rewards in the Cosmos Station wallet, you hit delegate again. It brings up all the validators under my validators that I have some delegated. At which time you can choose either one click compounding or one click claim all rewards. So if you claim all rewards, they'll go into your wallet and be usable. If you click one click compounding, they'll automatically redelegate to your preferred validators proportionately. So in this case, I'm going to go one click compounding. 
swipe, choose average transaction, and done. Okay, so now that uh, we have done that, we're gonna head over to the Smart Stake Analytics page. This is a great page to use as a tool to do research and monitor the system status, the validator status, Currently have 246,388,944 Corium stake representing 45.6%. Currently have an average APY combined at 33.9%. There is over a million tokens currently in pending undelegation. And you take a look at the Corium community DAO. Got 2.9 million tokens. Voting power rank is 37th. And we got 129 unique delegates. The commissions is 3%. And with that 3% commission, that is turned over to the DAO to help grow and incentivize the community. Okay, so as I discussed on slashing, it is wise to distribute your delegation to two, three different validators. In the event one gets slashed, not your whole delegation gets exposed to the, to the 5% slashing fee. If you don't know about the slashing, please look into it before you delegate. At this time, proper strategy and the current APYs mitigate the risks for the most part, but nonetheless, there is a risk. So make sure you understand the whole entire process before you commit any tokens to a validator. And like I said, there is 50 on here. Some are better than others for different reasons, so make sure you inform yourself. If you have any questions, join our Discord. We've got a great community there, always willing to help. Some of these uh, validators have very high commissions. Um, you can see Dora is 100% commission. So if you delegated your tokens there, all of those rewards would go to Dora, not to you. Uh, most are not like that. So it's important to watch. Some are 10%, some are 20%. ByteStake, for example, great community validator, has a promotion on right now, 0.59%. All right, so we're sitting at three. A lot are at five, Solo Nation at one, Macy and Foster, 0 0.25, 007 Corium, 0 0.5. Zen Lounge is still at 2%. This is the Corium Explorer. It's another place to monitor everything that's going on with the blockchain and the validators. 11,422,000 blocks running at 1.78 seconds, 50 out of 62 validators. Hopefully that was helpful. I encourage you to learn about staking at the Corium Community DAO and Validator. We have great community being built. Join us in Discord to learn more. We're having regular X spaces on Saturdays encourage you to listen to those, ask any questions. And on my YouTube channel, Corium Concepts, I also will be available for live stream AMAs, ask questions anytime. Be safe out there. Thank you for all your support. Peace and prosperity to you all. <laughs>